just a little runaway. Forty-seven years and still I'm on the run, afraid of love I'm keeping God at bay. Spending days in a nightmare ain't much fun. I am just a little runaway. For my misery, always blaming someone else. I'm really into judgment and delay, but only hurting. Hello, everybody. Oh, look at the hands waving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful Sunday moment. It's wonderful to have you join with me, us. And the name of this show, um, I, I received this from Susan um, yesterday, and that's Welcome to the Rabbit Hole. And that feels just totally appropriate for what we're going to be introducing today. And I'm real excited about this completely. And before we get into it, I just want to introduce my angel collaborator here. She's an elder in the Living Miracles community, has been in the community for over 10 years. And um, she felt moved to collaborate on this particular program that we're going to be introducing and so Jackie Simpson <laughs> she's my angel collaborator and um, I'm just so I yeah uh, I love you <laughs> I love you too <laughs> and uh, so what we're going to be talking about is a program that Living Miracles is really been pulling together for a while now and it seems like it's ready to be birthed and uh, it's called Rethinking Sickness and it's actually a doorway module uh, the doorway has been around for a while it's a particular um, online program that offers several different topics the new one that we're going to be adding is called Rethinking Sickness and uh, Jackie and I were talking about it this morning. Um, it's really for anyone that has a diagnosis that they're concerned with, bodily ailments that they're concerned with, fear of bodily functions that they're concerned with. Um, it really is the, the doorway to the rabbit hole. Um, I, I personally don't think anything like this has ever been put together in this way. And mm -hmm. it really is looking at sickness completely differently than you have ever been taught. And it's through A Course in Miracles, and it's really guided by Jesus. There's no other way I can put that. Um, and it's really for anyone, whatever your inclination is as far as spiritually, um, we invite you to just stay open to the presentation today. Mm -hmm. So, Jackie, would you like to maybe share your history with you had some diagnoses? and Yeah, I did. And, and we've put this show today out under the, the heading of trust. Um, and what... Mm, and, and my journey through sickness... Uh, was a development of trust, hugely so. Uh, it, it, um, it came up first uh, before I left New Zealand um, as a, a diagnosis of a tumour. And for me, that was a, a sign that something needed to change. Uh, and because at that point I'd got into the course, it was, uh, it's only my mind that can change here. This, this is what has to change and, and let go of, of any idea of, of what I might have in mind of what that means. Um, and so I seem to be guided to go to Australia. It was a very, very strong prompt. And um, so I did it. I, I just took off, left my family and went. Um, because it, it was something that pulled me so strongly that it couldn't be resisted. Uh, and when I got there, 
um, I was to meet a friend who I'd been through a devotional retreat with. And you know, when you go through these devotional retreats and you're together for a, a long period of time, um, you really have a, a very deep understanding and, and deep intimacy with each other. Um, and when I got to Australia, this friend met me at the airport and it really felt very strange. There was a, a, an oddness about it that, the, because I could feel there was no connection. What, what had been there had absolutely dropped. So just watching that, um, I was invited to stay with this friend. Um, and while I was there, the internet was not available. I was not shown any um, anything like where the food was or how to operate in there. It was very much out in the country too, so there was no uh, escape. <laughs> I didn't have a car. Um, the car wasn't available to me. And it, it over several days, uh, I, all these thoughts just built and built and built, and I was quite confused. And then one night I, I, I just sat in prayer and was in prayer the whole night, like, what is this? Why am I guided here? What is the, the purpose for this? Because I had an idea what it was for, and I had an expectation that wasn't being met. Uh, and it, through this night, I, it was about five o'clock in the morning, and I held, you know that, that, um, that, lesson in the course that has you hold someone in mind and put them in light. And I held that so, so diligently in my mind all night, please help me see this differently. And at about five o'clock in the morning, this image completely disappeared and it was light. My brother was just the Christ. And it, what the trust that, a, that I, I knew that I'd been guided there for a reason. And that was the trust level that I had, but I didn't know what it was, so show me. And it was to bring me to a true experience of forgiveness. And I, I do feel that that's, that's the outcome for everything we do. Right. We need to come to that realization that there is nothing more that we just need to get out of the way, whatever our thoughts are, whatever, um, whatever we seem to carry in our hearts as a, as a weight, whether it's sickness, whether it's resentment, anger, all the things that can arise from, from these body thoughts, that is what needs to be dissolved and, and to bring us to a true experience of forgiveness. And that is the true healing. There is nothing else. And then any outcome that, that arises as part of that, it is what it is. And, and that's where the acceptance and the trust then of that can, can really be felt. Yeah. yeah. But it is such a, a deep topic and it's, it's something that touches us all at some point, I'm, I'm absolutely sure, that we felt that this doorway course couldn't possibly just be something that you could work through on your own. It felt as though this needed to be a full sharing in the heart with a group of people who all have that same desire for healing and forgiveness. And just so rethinking yeah. sickness is a six, almost six months, five, six month mm. program online that's quite intensive. It's going to be offering, well, it's not even going to be offering, and we're wanting people to be willing to commit to this program really completely, like really bring something to the program, a willingness, perhaps a willingness like you've never known before. Because we're going to be guiding you through these five and a half months mm. through an exploration of mind, and it's not even your mind, it's the mind, the dysfunctional mind that says you can even be sick. And so the, it's going to be weekly Zoom meetings, facilitated Zoom meetings, 
Um, there are going to be movies, um, very special movies that we've selected specifically for looking at illness, disease, uh, sickness, uh, fear of both of those. Um, what else? We have, oh, there's going to be four online retreats yeah. during that period of time. Um, movies, what, oh, one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of facilitated mm. opportunity for sharing, self-expression sessions, um, basically to really take you on a journey of really what we do here in community. Yeah. This is what we do here in community. This is not magic that we're doing. Um, and mm -hmm. so the five and a half months is going to be a very specific curriculum to take you on a journey of what anyone entering community really goes through. And quite frankly, at the end of it, and I know this has occurred for myself, you know, it doesn't matter what my form looks like at this point, I am happy. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy and peaceful and... Mm -hmm. um, God, we were joining together this week, and we were giggling, and I mean, it was so much fun, and nothing happened, but it was so mm. much fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so we want to offer this to you. If you're not having so much fun in your life, then there's something that needs to be shifted, and this is what we're going to be taking people in this program on, an exploration of this. Yeah. Um, the program will probably start around February 11th. Again, the, the details of it haven't been finalized, um, but it will run around five and a half months. Very much requires weekly participation. There's not a lot of studying in this. There's a lot of experiential processes that we will be really talking about at length so that you're not going to be confused. Anyone can do this program. I mean, I, I kind of set it up because when I was in hospice and I was lying in bed 24-7, I was bored stiff. And so this program is for you. <laughs> Any of you out there that find that you're not maybe as limber as you once were or can't get out as much, this one's for you because everything can be done from your computer. Um, you don't have to join or travel. However, we are planning and we're in prayer at this point on this. There's going to be at the end of this because we're going to be joining with a small group of people. It may be 21 people and we're going to get to know each other very intimately during this period of time. And at the end of it, we want some sort of celebration mm. of just us you yeah. know coming showing together. up with willingness coming together yeah, yeah. actually meeting together somewhere physically <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. more will be revealed on that yeah, one uh, like I said we're in yeah. prayer on it and yeah. uh, um, I, I just guarantee it will be a celebration mm. and we'll have other elders there I know Suzanne will probably be there, David Hoffmeister. Um, it Jason. will be a... a yeah, Jason's going to do the movies. And Jason's yeah. going to do the movies. Yeah, so yeah. there's going to be... <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong camera. I am so sorry. Here, <laughs> eye contact. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we've got planned, and it's called Rethinking Sickness. Now, again, this is a new module on... Uh, for the doorway and at any time you can take it but the the launching that we're doing with this is really kind of special for mm -hmm. lack of a better word mm -hmm. and that is we're going to be taking everybody very close we're going to be keeping in in close contact with everyone during this process because it's um this is the greater joining that A Course in Miracles talks about um this, you know, no matter what anyone says, yes, this is a program of self-study. But the self-study is in your mind. The joining is to make sure that your mind is not leading you astray. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going to be really, you know, holding your hand through this process. Because I know I could not have done this myself. Mm -hmm. um, I am so grateful that I heard to enter community when I did um, mm. 
because I, my mind was was so filled with fear it would not have led me to a great neighborhood <laughs> and I needed mighty companions to hold my hand while I expressed everything that was in there and then there was guidance that took me away from my fearful mind into a, mm. a new world. Mm. And that's the, the world of forgiveness. We, we actually want to join from a, a deep place yeah. in our hearts with you um, because we're part of this. We, we've walked this walk uh, and it is a dark place where, you know, if, if there's a place that you need to go to actually uncover what lurks there in the back of the mind, this is where you can do it in, in full support. And we've, we've walked it with support. And I, I can't tell you what a gift that is. You're not alone. Um, hmm. Yeah, it, and it can, I know at times I did feel very alone, but that was what was in my mind because I was surrounded by support. But this belief in my mind that I'm alone was just the detachment from that, that self that is the truth. Um, and, and it was that sense of, of connection that fell that was the darkest time for me. Yeah. Um, and and I, I really think that if, the, if that's what you walk through, we can be there in the heart because we know that place. Um, and there is a way out which we can share. And that, yeah. that, that dark place also is a hotbed of unworthiness. Mm -hmm. This is where we don't think we're worthy of love. We forgot we are love. Yeah. And that's, you know, <laughs> I was called a runner. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had all this support coming at me. And it terrified me. Okay, I'll just put that out up front. And I was a runner, and I had my bags packed and ready to go at any moment. And it's like the reality was I couldn't receive because I didn't see myself as worthy of receiving. Mm. I've been a chiropractor. I took care of my mother, you know, until I went to chiropractic school and then took care of everybody else. I didn't know how to open to others giving. And um, that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Mm. It's actually very difficult to be vulnerable. Uh, and that's, that's another part of it too. It's that same, that same feeling of unworthiness. Something in the self needs to be protected. And mm. once we actually drop that protect mechanism and become vulnerable, then we, we see that everything that's coming towards us is love and, and is mm. truly what we are. Yeah. You know? they, and those, those experiences of true forgiveness then are available. Right. Yeah. And that's again, it. you know, this is the title of this episode is um, Welcome to the Rabbit Hole. Now, the rabbit hole is the process that you're going to be guided on to follow, to receive everything that you are, which is bliss, which is love, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is Christ. Yeah. And it's like, and, and we were talking earlier about niggles. And this is where I, I really invite you to trust. If you're feel, hearing in your heart, well, that sounds interesting, but the word but comes up in your converse, in your thoughts, you can guarantee ego is taking you somewhere else. So I just invite you with that but, take that to Holy Spirit to see differently. Because we want to hear from you. And the, the, the landing page isn't up yet, but it will be shortly. And there will be more information coming on this. We want to invite anyone that has a niggle to, to write out an application for this form. Put all your fears down of why you can't do it. All the buts that are coming in your mind, start listing them down now. Put them in the application. We can hold that space for you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, really trust the niggle. And this is where, at the entrance to this rabbit hole, you're being asked 
to jump with both feet. This is not something that you can test the water. I mean, I did that, but that's why I was called a runner. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. I highly recommend you just listen for the niggle. Something feels right about this, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I've got responsibilities, whatever the, your butts are, bring them on, you know, write them down, share them with us. We, we can hold the space. And it's like, and just invite yourself to see yourself as an innocent child that's not alone. Yeah, and, and when you get that, that pull, that intuitive feeling, then following that by filling in the application form, that's, that's terrific. And um, following that, we'll have a call with you. Mm -hmm. We can help you work through um, all the butts. Because all the butts, because <laughs> that's where we've been supported and, and it's what we can actually extend. In, in truth, because we know what that feels like. As soon as you even a, put an application form in or put your deposit down for some retreat or other, the fears start to come up. Yeah. They do. It's, it, you've already started, you know, and we know that one too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a journey yeah. um, through something that I, I know it's time to look at. It's time to face it. And I don't have to do it alone. I, and I feel that's the the biggest part of this course. It's, I'm not sure you can do it alone. No, I think that's why it has yeah. to be so substantial. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I couldn't have gone no. to where I am now alone, no. not even remotely. We well, you no, know, because it's the ego trying to work out the ego. <laughs> you know, I, and I, we need someone clear to hold a space yeah. for us so that we can actually just have that clarity reflected back to see that it is oh, it's my mind trying to work out something. Right. And this mind has a, a desired outcome. And that... And it's your can... death. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't wait till then. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited about this because I just need to say, I was in private practice as a chiropractor for 35 years and Jackie was a homeopath. So you've got two very experienced healthcare workers in, yeah. on the outside, you know, as your, your tour bus drivers. And <laughs> it's kind of like, I, one of the frustrations for me in practice was I'd give something to someone and they'd get better. I'd give the same thing to someone else that had the same complaint and they wouldn't. And it was always, it was always this conundrum. It's like, why is this? Why can't we find one thing that works for a set of symptoms, you mm. know? And it's like, what we're doing here, and this is what lights me up on this, this program, yeah. is we're, it's a whole new way. It's rethinking sickness. Yeah. It's taking what we know to be true in the horizontal and turning it inside out and upside down. Mm -hmm. Because I guarantee, and I, don't, I can't make guarantees about anything, anywhere, but I do guarantee this, that you come into this program, you will have an opportunity to see yourself in a whole new way. And there is, in that opportunity, you can see the love that you are. Mm. And I, ne I never had that opportunity growing up or in adulthood mm. until I came into community. And I have fought that from the get-go. And that's why my bags were always packed. Because it's like, no, 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 you can't, no, that's, that's bullshit. That can't, that can't be right. Yeah. And the reality is I'm now stepping into that. And it is such heaven. And there's so much power in that. Mm. We're all worthy of love. We're all worthy yeah, of the recognition of that is the true self. Yeah. That is, and, and it's coming to the self that is true, that really is peace, is happiness, is joy. Coming yeah. to that place is, is where we want to take this. And it may meander a little bit in, your, <laughs> in the mind. You know, of course it does. But you'll the, have a lot of mighty companions on that trip. Yes. So you're, this is where you, you can't do it yourself, but I guarantee we'll be there for you. Yeah. So, um, okay, well, I'm we getting... Got, we actually got... Oh, my God. <laughs> Six more minutes. We've got so much more time. 
if any of you have questions and you want to raise your hands, please feel free to, and we'll, we'll address them. We have a few minutes here so we can take questions. And um, before that, I'd like to just uh, share um, something. I, some years ago, when I was actually um, going through a, a shift in mind, I saw a documentary of a group of people who were followed. They were going to John of God. And um, oh. one particular man, as he went in, he, he actually spoke really from his heart and he said, I have no expectations. I don't know what to expect here. I'm just along here and I'm going to put my whole self into it. And as they came out through the process of, of the several days that they were there, he was absolutely shining. And the interviewer said to him, so what was your experience? And he said, well, I don't know whether anything here has shifted, but he said, I certainly know that something in my mind shifted and I feel very different. And it was, it gave me the chills. I've got them right was now. Powerful. <laughs> it really was powerful. And I think that's the way um, to approach this particular course. Yeah, it felt very, very deep for me and it really did hit me in my heart. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. And that's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. <laughs> you will feel different. I guarantee yeah. that. And uh, so no matter what you're dealing with, I say just bring it on. We're, we're ready to hold you and hug you and love you up as Suzanne says on a regular basis. Yeah. <laughs> and that's really what we're all just desiring. So mm. listen to the niggle. And niggles come in different ways. Um, I'm going to do a whole program next week. By the way, oh, some exciting news. Beyond the Body will be on weekly for the time being <laughs> until it's not. So for right now, you can expect a, a weekly program um, and I've, I'll be talking about um, this trust even more uh, in the next program because this is really open the door to the rabbit hole, listen for the niggle. They come in different ways, maybe a license plate that says, go for it. <laughs> it could be a billboard. You know, it, it can be so many different things, but listen for it. And if you're feeling, and this is where I started, Ooh, that sounds great. I remember I was in hospice and they were having a retreat in Mexico where I'm living now at La Casa. And I kept thinking, oh, that would be great. But, and then I had a litany of why I couldn't do it because I was in hospice, I was in bed, yada de yada de. And it was really, Jesus took my hand on that one and got me up to the monastery. And from there, yeah, I, my whole life, yeah, <laughs> we're rocket for God. Rocket for God, that's what we've turned into, we're rockets for God. And we want to share with you that process so that you can be a rocket for God, because anybody can. It oh, just takes sure. a little desire. Yep, yep, and a whole heap of willingness. And a whole heap of willingness, but there we're there to hold your hand, so... Just know you're not doing this alone, not even remotely. This is going to be a very supported process. And um, you, yeah, if anything, you're not going to feel alone during this. You may want to be alone, but you're not going to feel alone. And uh, that's a whole, those are two separate, completely separate uh, stories. So I just, uh, rethinking sickness, and you'll be hearing more about it on Facebook and on Beyond the body, and we've got, and Jackie's going to be coming back soon because we have something else that we want to share with you. But that's another special show. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise! <laughs> so for this, I just want to say thank you all for being here, and uh, may your moment be blissful. And from Jackie and I, your tour yeah. bus drivers. Have a fabulous moment, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> it was just a tiny mad idea At which the Son of God remembered